So 
the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul yearns for you, my Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the earth. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel Depsicon TV Tamale and Facebook channel Department of Pastoral and Social Communication Depsicon Tamale each day 12 noon listen may God restore renew and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, hallelujah. For he whom you did marry to bear, hallelujah, has risen as he said, hallelujah. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. God our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, Bring us to the happiness of eternal life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you saints of God, pray for us. Beloved in Christ, I welcome you to Thursday of the fourth week of Easter to listen to the Word of God and today we shall be reading from the book of Acts of the Apostles let us listen to the Word of God a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his company set sail from Pamphos and came to Pega, 
in Pamphylia. And John left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they passed on from Pega and came to Antioch of Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent to them, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say it. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you that fear God, listen. The God of these people Israel chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. And for about forty years he bore with them in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. For about four hundred and fifty years, and after that he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. And God gave them Saul, the son of Kesh, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Of this man's posterity, God has brought so to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had preached a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he, no, but after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. The word of the Lord. Beloved in Christ, today as we follow the early Christian church, we follow St. Paul and his companion who are embarking on their missionary journey. Today we are told in our reading that their missionary journey took them to Antioch in Persidia, where St. Paul was given the opportunity in the synagogue to speak to the people of Jews and other people who believe in Judaism. But Paul, born as a Jew, has to remind the people of Israel of their past. Just, not just the past, but to remind them how God has chosen them as his own. He recounted great events in the life of the people of Israel. He reminded them of great personalities who accompany, accompany God in the great works that he has done in the life 
of the people of Israel. Why did Paul trying to remind the people of their past? My dear friends in Christ, Paul reminded them because they did not recognize Jesus as part of the plan of God for them. And so Paul has to recount these events that leads to the fulfillment of God's promise of salvation to the people of Israel. It is important to know that we cannot forget of our past. If we are able to remember where we are coming from and where, where we are today, that will help us to appreciate the love of God in our lives. Our current situation alone may not help us to recognize the love of God in our lives. As St. Paul tried to recall and to remind the people of Israel the great things God has done in their lives, it is also important for us to recall the moments that we have been struggled in life till this point. What does it tell us? Do we make meaning of our past? How did we get to where we are today? Did we see the hand of God in our past? Did we recognize the, power, the, the hand of God in our past? It is very important as Christians in order to appreciate the love of God in our present day. It is very important to recall how we got to where we are today. How we are able to reach where we are today. We might have passed through difficulties. We might have passed through challenges that we ourselves did not remember or could not imagine that God will bring us to where we are. Do not let us be like the people of Israel who could not recognize Jesus as part of the promise that God has made. They did not remember this because they forgot of their past. They forgot of what God has done for their ancestors. They forgot of what God had used other people to do for them. As we reflect upon this reading, my dear people of God, let us remember that no matter what our past, God was with us. No matter what our past, God did not abandon us. And that has brought us where we are today. And that has brought us where we have found ourselves today. It is better, it is appropriate to recall in order to praise God, in order to give God the glory. Let us pray that we will continue to be a people who appreciate the hand of God in every aspect of our life in the past up to our present time. May God bless us and keep us in his love now and forever. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55 
verses 10 to 11 that for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the earth. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel, Depsocon TV Tamale and Facebook channel, Department of Pastoral and Social Communication, Depsocon Tamale. Each day, 12 noon, listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church.